Am I the asshole for not being sorry that I didn't believe my daughter's knee was hurting? I have a 15-year-old daughter, and my husband is currently out of town. I have a lot of projects that need to be done in my yard, and I really needed her help. On Friday, she told me her knee was hurting after her run, and she was limping. I told her, it's funny how your body always seems to malfunction when I need your help. You can just stay in bed all day if you want, because it's true. She has a history of feigning ailments in order to get out of things she doesn't want to do. She hasn't done it much since she was around 9, but I still have trouble trusting her when she says something is wrong. She said she would help me, and I told her we could take her to the emergency room if her knee still hurt by the time the yard work was done. We worked the whole weekend, and she complained a lot, but I was almost certain that she would magically be better by the end of the weekend. This morning though, she said her knee was hurting badly and she could hardly walk, so I took her to the emergency room. It turns out she sprained her knee. I had told her to tell them that it only started hurting today, but she said it started hurting Friday, and I was questioned. Fortunately, nothing bad happened, but they said that due to how much she's had to use her knee after it was injured, it will take longer to recover. I decided to keep her home from school today, because I don't necessarily want her telling people that I had her doing work when she told me her knee hurt. They wouldn't be getting the full story or context, and she has a tendency to exaggerate when I do something wrong. I do feel slightly guilty, but I told her that this wouldn't have gotten to the point it did had she not had this history of lying. She is pissed at me. She told me that she was in terrible pain all weekend, and that she couldn't believe I didn't trust her. She doesn't seem very interested in talking to me, but I feel like this is partially her fault for creating a situation in which I couldn't trust her. Am I the asshole for not wanting to apologize? You are the asshole. One million percent. The full story she'd be telling is that you made a shitty assumption about her, forced her to go an entire weekend without necessary medical care and that you tried to get her to lie to cover up your negligence. All because when she was a literal child, six years ago, she had issues with lying. Yeah, I can see why you don't want that getting out. ETA. Also, you suck for pretending to be significant other fucking morally outraged at your daughter lying to you in years past. Which is, you know, actually pretty developmentally normal for kids to do. But then asking her to lie for you to the doctors. Gross. Clearly you're fine with it when it benefits you. You are the asshole ex too. What you did by ignoring her was wrong as you could tell there was something wrong and then you asked her to lie to cover your butt for the first one. No bueno. You are the asshole. Dude. You know you are since you wanted her to lie about it. And she used to fake sick when she was nine? It's been six years. If you are the kid writing in the perspective of the parent, know that the parent is ta. You are the asshole even doubly so for encouraging her to lie to a medical provider. Why would you ever teach your child to provide false information to a doctor? Your behavior in that alone was immature, but then to want to avoid apologizing? Perhaps you should reflect on what kinds of lessons you want to be passing on to your daughter about the kind of person you want her to be. You are the asshole. I have a 15-year-old daughter. She has a history of feigning ailments in order to get out of things she doesn't want to do. She hasn't done it much since she was around 9, but I still have trouble trusting her when she says something is wrong. Are you really comparing the actions of a 9-year-old to a 15-year-old and still holding those actions against her? Do you believe your daughter is not capable of personal growth? Should have just taken her to urgent care when she made the initial complaint. You are the asshole. You don't trust her due to a history of lying, but then you turn around and command her to lie. There's a word for that. You are the asshole, and don't be surprised when your daughter cuts contact with you when she gets older. You are the asshole you basically punished her for lies she told when she was nine. I hope she tells everyone how you ignored her pain. Am I the asshole for wishing my husband would get me a Christmas gift? Adding this after the post. Okay thank you to everyone for the supportive comments and for hitting me with a reality check I'm not ready for. To be honest I think I have just been in denial that my husband is only with me for money. I guess I should have known because even though he worked full time when we were dating, he never took me on dates and that's fine not to go to restaurants or stuff that costs money but there is free stuff you can do and we only ever sat at home or I would invite him to different places but he never bothered to suggest something like a walk and at the time it didn't seem like a red flag, because to me being together was important, regardless of what we were doing. But looking back it feels a bit weird that he never wanted to suggest something I might enjoy. Secondly after we got married after a month he actually told me he never loved me and was only looking for a financial sponsor, 
but when he told me this I tried to take my own life and after that I could not accept the reality so I pretended he never said that and then he got a part-time job but then stopped going and was going half of the time and now after this post, he didn't see the post, unrelated. He told me straight that he will never work again and that if I don't like it he can just move out because he isn't going to be around me for free. I am afraid I will go into that dark mental place again so for now I am just going to suppress and ignore while continuing to be on meds and psychiatric and psychological care but one day I will leave, probably after all the travel rules are over and I can just pack my bag and be gone in the blink of an eye. I don't know if I am being materialistic, my husband says I am so I want to post here and get some objective judgments. With Christmas coming up, I did want a gift from my husband, mainly for the symbolism like the thought of getting a Christmas gift. I know he doesn't have much money because he's very reluctant to work and skips going to his part-time job most of the time, so I told him it could be something small, like a little stuffed animal or a keychain or even a Christmas card, but today he told me he doesn't have money and won't have any until next year because he spent his last money on a video game he had been wanting. He says I am materialistic for wanting a gift, even though he asked for several things which I already bought and that Christmas should be about time with family instead of material things so I do feel guilty and like maybe I am wrong but I'm not sure. If it matters I pay all the bills and living costs so it's not that I've ever asked for anything. He did get me a card on my birthday when I asked him to. So I don't think I'm that materialistic but I do feel a bit bad so is it unreasonable for me to want a Christmas gift given that it would be really cheap or is it a reasonable desire? Not the asshole. Go return his gifts and use the money to buy yourself something. Not the asshole your man is gaslighting you. You're accepting his incompetence. Leave him before it's too late. I promise you there's someone out there who will match what you bring to the table and provide love and emotions for you as well. Everyone sucks here you suck for putting up with him, don't be an asshole to yourself. No he doesn't have much money because he's very reluctant to work and skips going to his part-time job most of the time. I pay all the bills and living costs, like seriously why are you still married to this asshole? Dot. Edit, my husband says he's only willing to work part-time because he wants to have more time to play video games, seriously op why? Not the asshole your husband is a lazy freeloader. Return every single present you bought him, every single one. Pull a Grinch. Take the money and go buy yourself something lovely, wrap it up put it under the tree. You deserve it. He already got a video game for Christmas from himself, and after all he wouldn't want you to go and spend money on your materialistic items for him now would he? Not the asshole he asked you for several gifts but all of a sudden you're the materialistic one for wanting one small present or a card. Your husband is not a nice person. Not the asshole, you should sell the gifts you bought him and buy yourself something nice. When he complains he got nothing for Xmas tell him to stop being materialistic. INFO. Why did you marry a man who isn't contributing anything to your relationship? Not the asshole, but why the hell are you letting him get away with spending the little money he makes on himself? Not the asshole. Can you make breaking up with him a Christmas present to yourself? Your husband is extremely selfish. You are asking for so little that it's painful to contemplate. Worse, you're asking for so little and wondering if it's too much. This man has warped your self-worth with his selfish, lazy behavior. You are definitely worth more than this. I know it's scary to think about leaving what's familiar, but there are better things, and people, out there for you. Am I the asshole for refusing to follow my MIL's rules when I am in their house? Me, 20F, and my boyfriend, 21M, have been together for 2.5 years. We both currently live in Paris. He is American but he came to France for his studies and decided to stay. We have moved in together six months ago and everything is going great. Because of COVID, I never really got the chance to go to the US and meet his parents. But since it is now possible, he really wanted me to go with him and visit them. I was more than happy to go because obviously it is very important for him. When I met them they were very welcoming and at first we got along great. But then I was kind of confused, upset by their behavior. I knew his parents are religious, and it's more than okay with me even if I am not. I don't think I was expecting that. During our first meal, they then asked me if I knew any prayer and I said no. His mother then told me, it's the least you could know, and I was like what the fuck, sorry but I don't believe in God. Later she was showing me my room and his mother said that we will sleep in different room because it was, more appropriate. I have never seen an adult couple sleeping separately. We live together so like why would she care? 
Since it seems that the issue was about sex I tried to reassure her by making a joke and she looked so offended by the fact that I had implied we were having sex. I felt like I had insulted her even though we are both adults. Long story short I tried to convince her gently to let me sleep in the same room than him but I let it go since it was going nowhere. I wasn't happy to spend our vacation together in different rooms. The last issue that really pushed me to stop accepting her behavior when she said that they would buy desert after going to church. I was like, oh nice, maybe I could help by cooking the meal, while you are at church. She was shocked and told me they expected me to go with them to church. I said no, that I didn't want to go because I don't believe in God so it makes me uncomfortable. She was very upsted and tried to make me change my mind but I stood my ground and said that I would not go. After this, my boyfriend said that I was not respecting them. I told him that I was 100% respecting their beliefs but she was the one not respecting mine. Honestly I was a bit upset by his behavior because while I agree me and his mother might see things differently, I think it is healthy to explain to talk about why I disagree with calm and respect. He insisted that I was wrong by not accepting their rules. I though about it and I am ready to see if maybe I was the asshole? Esh. As far as sleeping in the same room you don't get to decide not to follow that rule in their home. Don't like it? Stay in a hotel. As far as the religious situations, they shouldn't be forcing you to attend church if you aren't comfortable doing so. Period. Not the asshole dump the boyfriend. Go back to Paris alone. That is not a family you want to join. Not the asshole. The biggest asshole is your boyfriend for not warning you of the rules so you could make accommodation arrangements if so desired. Trying to force you into prayer or to attend church is not respectful of your own spiritual autonomy, despite the common pressures of my fellow Americans. Typically a guest should simply be allowed to participate or not as they see fit although sitting quietly and respectfully would be appropriate. The separate room things is annoying but ultimately at the discretion of the hosts. I'm assuming a fairly southern or midwestern area. If someone tells me their rules, force me into religious practices that make me uncomfortable I'm bailing. Esh. You follow house rules in the house. That's how it goes. Church isn't their house, though, so they don't get to tell you to go to church. Get a hotel. Hard not the asshole. By your BF's logic, when they visit you, you can forbid prayers at meal, Bibles at home, and instead of trips to church, have family outing to a pro-gay marriage and or abortion rally. Why would she not be respecting your beliefs, then? Clearly, either boyfriend is still in the fog of doing pro-religious things to not rock the boat, or he at some level believes. Either way, I see fundamental differences in this relationship. Not the asshole. I'm quite religious and I'm offended by their behavior. You're being very respectful, and them trying to force you to do things like go to church is not okay. Esh. Ultimately while you're in her house she can tell you two to sleep in separate rooms. That's actually not as uncommon as you may think, as unmarried couples with religious parents will probably have experienced. If this is a problem for you, get a hotel with your boyfriend. It's not cool of her to force you to go to church or expect you to know some sort of table prayer or whatever. That's definitely a bit out of line on her part. She can't force you to practice a religion you don't believe in while you're staying there. Not the asshole but your boyfriend has already shown he's going to choose his insane parents over you. Would I be the asshole if I sued the seamstress who made my wedding dress? Throwaway account. Long backstory super short, I'm getting married next year and could not find a gown I liked. However, I have a background in design and ended up commissioning a local seamstress to make a dress that I designed, and it's gorgeous. She assisted in some final tweaks, but 99.9% .9 of the gown is my design, and we had a contract that stated I own the design. This part is important. I favorited her Etsy account back when I was looking for someone to work with, and was so excited that she was local, which is why I went with her. So you can imagine my shock when I saw she had posted my dress design on her site for sale by order. According to the reviews, she sold more than one. While I know you cannot copyright designs, we do have a legal contract that states she would not make additional dresses to sell from my design. I've spoken to a lawyer, and I would have a case because of the way it was worded. However, I'm a bit hesitant because I know you cannot technically copyright a design. Would I be the asshole if I went after her for this in court? Edit. Answers to questions I keep getting asked. This is not a copyright issue, it is a contract law one. I drafted the pattern. I do not want money, I would be suing for specific performance for her to stop selling it. I have not spoken to her because of legal concerns. 
I would rather sue when she has it online and blatant than if she takes it offline. It is 100% my dress, as she's using photos of the dress that is currently in a garment bag in my closet waiting for my wedding. I would be sending her a C and D before a suit. Why does it matter? From a fully financial perspective, I paid for it to be one of a kind. From an emotional perspective, the design is sentimental, plus, the dress that I have not yet worn is online for the world to see, which pisses me off. Not the asshole you both agreed she wouldn't sell your design on and she has broken that. If your lawyer thinks you have a case then it sounds fairly clear cut that she has broken her word. That said, have you spoken to her first? If you can work it out without getting lawyers involved then that will probably be best for everyone concerned, apart from the lawyers. Not the asshole. Get your lawyer to send her a cease and desist letter. You may not need to sue unless you want some compensation for the dresses sold. I almost want to call you the asshole because of posting this in the first place. You're not the asshole and you know it. You're in the right in every way. However you may want to think about, you know, talking to her first? Asking her what's up? And telling her that she's going to end up in legal trouble for this. Maybe you can work with her, get some financial compensation from the dress she already sold, and get her to stop without going to expensive lawyers. Not the asshole. You had a contract, she broke it. Get her ass. She knew you didn't want your design copied and you made sure to include it in the contract. Sue her ass for damages and emotional distress. Maybe have the lawyer send her a letter telling her to take it down or else since she violated a contract. Also contact Etsy and register a complaint. And of course amend your comments on the site. Not the asshole and the quicker the better. Not the asshole. She broke a legally binding contract. Sue her. Report her shop for theft too while you're at it. Not the asshole. You had an agreement. She broke it. That's simple. It doesn't matter if you were planning on making dresses yourself using that design. At the end of the day it comes down to the fact that she agreed in a written contract that she wouldn't make any more dresses using your design but did exactly that. Not sure what the damages would be but your lawyer would know.